guys, so today I'm going to be doing a how I edit my Instagram photos video and this is one of my most requested videos by far. I always get comments and questions on this so I'm just going to edit one of my photos for you today and you can kind of see my little tips and tricks. Um, if you don't already follow me on Instagram, definitely do so. It's just at a fry, A-F-R-E-I-E, -E. I'll have it linked. I'd love to have you. I post on there a lot and I don't know, Instagram's like my favorite. Thing. So let's just get into the editing process. I'm going to show you how I edited this photo and it's my second most recent Instagram and this was the original photo and then this is the finished result. First I will go ahead and like the photo so that it goes into my favorites and it's easier to grab. That's just a little tip and then I'll go into Facetune first and Yes, I use Facetune, whatever. I think if you use it the right way, it's not bad. Obviously, if you're like distorting your body and stuff in ways that it doesn't look like you or at all, that's just like lame, don't do that. So this is the original photo. I'll usually go into Facetune and I'll crop it if I need to, um, but I'm not going to, or I didn't with this photo. And I'll kind of look and see if I have any like pimples or anything that I need to cover up. Like, yeah, I'll cover them up. I'll smooth it a little bit, but my camera that I took this on actually has like a built-in smooth feature, so I didn't really need to do that at all on this photo. The whitening, and I'll whiten my hair because I like when my hair looks blonder. I really need to get it dyed blonder, but for now I just do this, and I do this in almost all my photos. I just think it looks better, um, so there you can kind of see the difference. And then I'll go into um, details. I don't do this on every photo, but I did on this one. And I'll kind of do like the things that I want to stand out. So I'll do like my nose highlight, my lips a little bit. Um, just kind of make them stand out a little bit more. And then I'll go around my eyelashes and my eyeballs, but not the whites of my eyes because I think that looks creepy. So you can just kind of see, it just adds like a little to, oh I wanted to show you, so there's like this, um, I don't know what store was behind me, but there's like a logo for the store, so I'll go ahead and take that out. So I'll go to tones, and you can pick the tone of like the wall um, that the logo is on, and then I just start coloring over it, so it kind of goes away, and then I'll go to the patch feature, and I'll like patch just the blank wall over it. If that makes sense so oops I'll just take out the logo um, but if you ever don't want something in the background of your photo or like um, a lot of times if I'm covering up pimples I'll use the patch feature instead of the smooth because it looks a little bit more natural and it doesn't look like you're like blurring your whole face I think that looks bad and like you obviously edited it so yeah, I'll use the patch a lot. That's one of my favorites. And as you can see, it just like completely went away. It's still, you can kind of still tell. So then I'll go back to tones and I'll pick up the tone and I'll kind of draw over it. And then lastly, because there's not like that much detail, I'll go into the smooth and I'll just smooth everything out. So that's a good trick. If you don't want things in the background, I just completely took the whole sign out. Um, where like filters go, I'll use Visco, but I'll start with Facetune and I usually will um, darken it a little bit, the photo, because it makes you look tanner. And I like to look very tan. And then I'll also do S-curve a little bit, because that, um, I don't know, just makes like the lighting better a little bit. So, so far that's what I'll do on Facetune. Brightens everything, makes everything look better. And then I'll go ahead and save that, and then I'll go into Visco, and I'll open my photo. And sorry, I have like a million of the same photo. I think this is so embarrassing, but whatever, that's how it is. And this is like my most frequently asked question, which is what filter I use. And I use ACG, and it's like this one. It makes you look really tan and like dark and I'm not sure if everyone has this on their phone because I feel like it's not in like the normal filters I have no idea how I got it I don't know if you have to pay for it um, but that's the filter that I use and I'll usually do it depends on the photo but like on this one I think I put it up to like seven or eight and then it's looking a little dark so I'll bring up the exposure but like I said sometimes I'll bring it down because I like when my photos are a little bit darker 
Um, contrast, I'll take back a little bit um, for this photo, maybe a little less than that. And then I'll usually go to sharpen, and I'll sharpen at like one to two. Um, I'll take the saturation down just a tiny bit. I'll take the temperature down just a tiny bit so it's a little bit more blue. And then you can see how it's getting lighter, so then I will go back to exposure and darken it again because I usually when you like make things bluer, they get a little bit lighter. And then finally I'll go to green and I've been really liking this lately so I'll put that up to like three and then I will go ahead and save that. If it's looking like a little bit too dark when I actually put it into Instagram, like if I go to my Instagram app and I add the photo and I size it and I hit next, I'll go into the edit and I'll do the brightness up on here because for some reason the brightness, if you want to make your photos brighter on the actual Instagram app is really good so that is my finished photo and that is pretty much all that I do to edit my Instagram photos um, here's what my feed looks like at the moment if you want a little sneak peek um, I just Instagrammed this one and that's my previous one if you have any questions please leave them in the down bar below if you did enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on instagram and i'll see you guys in my next video